Bali will have a new tourist fee as of 2024. So this will be something that is new and perhaps a, a minor, a very minor barrier for those visiting. But it is something that indicates a larger trend and a larger picture uh, towards the type of people that Asia wants in. And I think Indonesia specifically wants in their country. So we're going to talk about that in terms of the fee itself, as far as the, and also the larger ramifications for visas across of Asia more broadly. Of course, I am Andrew Esquire, American attorney living in Thailand, Bangkok, Thailand, also spending significant time in Korea, Japan, the Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, all the places where you guys want to be in Asia. And this is Go East Gentlemen, helping gentlemen escape the collapsing West for the East. Now, Bali is a destination that's popular with a lot of people. I know a lot of people that are the hippie type that love it, the content creator type that love it. Uh, a lot of folks uh, from different countries around the world love it. There's a huge scandal over Russians coming down there uh, and working, you know, illegally and whatnot. A lot of people like Bali. A lot of people enjoy it because it's not just somewhere that is beautiful, that has a unique culture, but it's also cheap. Um, and it's interesting to see whether or not this latest update will deter the cheap crowd. So Bali was previously not charging anything to visit, but now as of 2024, they're going to be charging 10 US dollars, the equivalent of 10 US dollars as of 2024, which is uh, 150,000 Indonesian rupa, or rupia. I can never pronounce that one correctly, but... Um, yeah, they're going to collect this fee electronically or through e-payment methods. So you're going to just pay online probably before you get there. Uh, so it's not it's not going to be huge. But I will say if you're someone who's like really cost conscious and you're trying to pinch every penny, obviously these type of fees matter. And once you introduce a fee, here's the thing I want to talk about with you guys. And, and specifically, I think this will apply to Bali. Once you introduce a fee, you don't unintroduce it. Once people have gotten used to receiving this money, once administrators are used to this dole, it's not going away. So Indonesia will never go back to being free to visit uh, for foreigners absent a specific agreement with that country regarding their foreigners, perhaps an exemption for their foreigners uh, from that fee. But aside from an exemption from the fee, the fee is not going anywhere. And actually, I think these fees will increase all across East and Southeast Asia. Uh, I imagine that they're going to increase. And why is that? Well, because Asia, specifically East and Southeast Asia, they do not want everybody. They only want the visitors, the tourists, the permanent residents, the, you know, potential future nationals, the expats uh, that may have ultimately become nationals, um, they want those that are going to make them stronger. They want those that are going to build the country, make it better, bring stuff there, whether it's just money, if you're a tourist, bring money. And, and by that, I mean, bring more money in the country than you're going to take from it. Now, when you bring this up, what am I talking about? Or when I bring this up, what am I talking about? Well, a $10 fee, it's not much now, but if you think about it, if you're a bottom of the barrel cheapo tourist and you're saying, hey, look, I'm trying to spend as little as I can in this country, you might go in there, you might you know, be more inclined to say, hey, look, there's a country I can get into for free versus $10. I'm going to go to the free country because I don't want to pay anything. And that person might, you know, for example, go to that country and might get in trouble, wreck things, destroy stuff in public, cause issues with the police, right? Get kicked out. All of these things cost society far more than $10. They cost them a lot of time, effort. Uh, in Asia, there's a lot of lost face uh, from these incidents. We've seen this in all sorts of countries, Japan, Korea, Thailand, a bunch of countries have had issues with foreigners coming in and acting a fool. It's a big issue for these countries. And what they're saying is all these countries, not just Indonesia, but you know, Thailand, Korea, Japan, they're saying, look, we don't want these scrubs you know, tourists, visitors, businesses. We want people that are legitimate. We want people that are bona fide, right? I love that legal word, bona fide. Um, I think that was, uh, what was it? Brother, where art thou? He's a bona fide suitor. Great line. They want bona fide individuals to come in and spend money within the country. Indonesia is no different from that um, and no different in terms of wanting this as a requirement. And we've also seen this with different visas for them. For example, their business visa, the permutation of the business visa, as well as their retirement visas. These are things where there are substantial requirements and they want good people. They want people with money, not people who are absolutely destitute and broke. Uh, that being said, let me know, would you still pay $10 to go to Bali? Are you planning to go to Bali? Do you want to go to Bali? Do you care about Bali? Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.